Hi, I'm Glenn Mackin from 94WIP. I'm with Chef Josh from the Cooper Bariatric Surgery Program. And Chef Josh, I will be honest, since Thanksgiving, probably since the start of the football season, I've not exactly eaten as healthy as I probably should. But we've got Christmas coming up, New Year's coming up. It is that time of year where you can get carried away. But today, and our listeners contributed to this, we're going to do some healthy holiday side dishes? That right. All right. Yes. So what do we got for a menu? This looks um, great. So we had a bunch of uh, submissions for the healthy recipes. Um, unfortunately, some were desserts. So it's very hard to make desserts um, healthy. Okay. It ruins the integrity of the dessert. Um, so for side dishes, we're going to do a roasted uh, root vegetable. Then we're going to make a uh, roasted butternut squash soup. We're going to do a cream of uh, spinach with turkey bacon. We're also going to make a stuffing with quinoa, um, Roasted uh, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, turkey bacon, dried cranberries, hazelnuts, and quinoa. Um, then we're going to make a uh, green bean casserole. All right, Chef, it's that time of year where it's cold. You know, you go out in the winter, you come in. Nothing is going to warm you up like a nice bowl of soup. Right. I like a soup. I see you've got some ingredients put together. What's the plan? Yeah, so we're going to make a roasted butternut squash soup. Mm -hmm. uh, one way to cut calories is instead of using like a creamy soup, like a New England clam chowder or like yeah. a cream of chicken, which has a lot of fat and cream in it. Uh, we're going to use vegetables with a uh, chicken roll. Um, and we're going to puree it all up so it's a nice puree soup. So what I did was I roasted some butternut squash, the same with I did with the uh, root vegetables. Had some onion, had some uh, fresh thyme, salt and pepper. Um, then I have some diced carrots, onion and garlic. We're gonna saute that up in the pan, and then we're gonna throw it all in the pot with some chicken broth, and then puree it all together, and have our uh, first of butternut squash soup. Yeah, that's great. Garlic, let's have our carrots. And we're gonna coat these all down until they sweat. And then we'll add our butternut squash and our chicken broth and continue to cook it down a little bit, maybe 10 minutes longer. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll throw some fresh thyme, some fresh sage in, and then let it continue to uh, cook down, and we'll puree it, and then we'll have our Josh's delicious uh, squash soup. Yep, roasted right? butternut squash. Remind me of the ingredients? It has carrots, onions, garlic, um, some thyme, uh, chicken broth, and just a touch of sour cream and Parmesan cheese. Delicious. Looks great. All, all uh, pureed up. Oh, that's so nice. It's so savory. I'm telling you, you, kind of, you shovel the driveway, you build a snowman, whatever. You're out there, you come inside, Chilled to the bone, this would warm you right up. Right. Just tastes great inside. Right. So far, delicious. Now comes the challenge. Yes. You're going to sell me on cream of spinach? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good one. <laughs> what do we got? So we're going to saute some onions and garlic um, mm -hmm. with salt and pepper and maybe some crispy, crispy turkey bacon. Yeah, it helps um, anything. We're going to add that to the pot and we're going to add our spinach and cook it all the way down. Um, and we're going to finish with our non fat sour cream parmesan. All right, well it smells good. You know, I'm a skeptic about cream spinach myself. But people love it and it is great for this time of year. You just took the spinach, uh, put it right on in a pan uh, on the oven, let it, let it wilt let it down. down. I added the uh, non-fat sour cream, some Parmesan, uh -huh. more salt and pepper. I'm gonna try to eat this without burning off the roof of my yes. mouth. We do try to get it right <laughs> off the, you know, the stove top, so there you go. Mm. 
Let me show you it's good. So I think turkey bacon helps bring like a little smokiness, mm -hmm. a little meaty texture. Cheesy. To it. Right. Mm -hmm. So delicious. So Chef Josh, when I was a kid, my mother, God bless her, was not the greatest cook in the world. God bless her. And she used to make green bean casserole. Mm -hmm. And what it was was frozen green beans defrosted, right? cream of mushroom soup poured out of the can, and the, the onion Onions. things on yeah. top. I have bad memories of such things, right. but you, my friend, tell me. Hopefully you make it better for you. You can make <laughs> one that I will actually enjoy and is healthy for yes. people. So, um, the cream of mushroom can of soup. Uh, yeah, we're, when it's out. We're not using that. Oh, jeez. Um, all lifted. We're done. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to make it with some sautéed onions and garlic. Well, some mushrooms. We have some turkey bacon that already sliced up and crisped up. Uh -huh. um, I didn't add any fat to that, it's just turkey bacon in the pan. Um, roast red peppers. We're going to thicken it with a little bit of uh, flour and a little bit of fat to help it get that uh, smooth texture. Right. Um, Nothing there not to like. Right. So, why the creaminess is coming from. Why didn't you from, tell this to my mother 40 years ago? <laughs> the creaminess is going to come from instead of using like milk or heavy cream to make like a soup, we're actually using non fat sour cream and non fat Greek yogurt. Okay. So, we're not adding fat, but you still get that mouthfeel. And that's what we're looking for. And then we're also going to add some Parmesan cheese to give it a nice cheese, uh, like creamy cheese, and we're going to flavor it up. So, this looks great. Now, as I told you, Chef Josh, my mother used to make green bean casserole. Not that good. This already looks and smells better than anything. Well, I shouldn't say it's my mother. <laughs> great. Looks great. Smells great. This is the green bean casserole. Correct. So it's not as creamy as a traditional green bean casserole, but you still have those great flavors. That's okay. So it's our roasted red peppers, our mushrooms, our haricot bears. Ooh. Parmesan. Really good. Crystal. Really good. And you know what's great? You did not cook these green beans to submission. Right. So we let them a little out dented. Correct. So we blanched them first um, before we add to the pan. So it takes less time to cook, but also keeps the uh, texture. So it has a little bite to it rather than like the canned green beans and the frozen ones kind of falls apart. Good stuff. Well, Chef Josh, I got to tell you, these were great recipes. Um, going to take people through Christmas, through New Year's, through the holidays. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do another one of these for the Super Bowl. Correct. We're going to do a bunch, but you saw today some great side dishes. You can get all the recipes at cbsphilly.com slash cooperdocs from the Cooper Bariatric Surgery Program. I'm Glenn Mack now with Chef Josh. Thanks so much. We'll see you again soon.